Friday of the first week in ordinary time. 14th of January 2022. First reading. Reading from the first book of Samuel. All the elders of Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Ramah. Look, they said to him, you are old and your sons do not follow your ways. So give us a king to rule over us, like the other nations. It displeased Samuel that they should say, Let us have a king to rule us. So he prayed to the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, Obey the voice of the people in all that they say to you. For it is not you they have rejected. They have rejected me from ruling over them. All that the Lord had said, Samuel repeated to the people who were asking him for a king. He said, These will be the rights of a king who is to reign over you. He'll take your sons and assign them to his chariot tree and cavalry, and they will run in front of his chariot. He'll use them as leaders of a thousand and leaders of fifty. He'll make them plow his plowland and harvest his harvest, and make his weapons of war and the gear for his chariots. He'll also take your daughters as perfumers, cooks and bakers. He'll take the best of your field, of your vineyards, the olive groves and give them to his officials. He'll tithe your crop and vineyard to provide for his eunuchs and his officials. He'll take the best of your manservants and maidservants of your cattle and your donkeys and make them work for him. He'll tithe your flock and you yourself will become his slaves. When that day comes you will cry out on the account of the king you have chosen for yourselves. But on that day God will not answer you. The people refused to listen to the words of Samuel. They said, No, we want a king so that we in our turn can be like the other nations. Our king shall rule us and be our leader and fight our battles. Samuel listened to all that the people had to say and repeated it in the ears of the Lord. The Lord then said to Samuel, Obey their voice and give them a king. Responsorial Psalm I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Happy the people who acclaim such a king, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who find their joy every day in your name, who make your justice the source of their bliss. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. For you, O Lord, are the glory of their strength. By your favour it is that our might is exalted. For our ruler is in the keeping of the Lord. Our king is in the keeping of the Holy One of Israel. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Gospel Acclamation Hallelujah, Hallelujah May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope his call holds for us. Hallelujah Gospel Reading from the Book of Mark When Jesus returned to Capernaum, word went around that he was back and so many people collected that there was no room left even in the front of the door. He was preaching the word to them when some people came bringing him a paralytic carried by four men. But as the crowd made it impossible to get the man to him, they stripped the roof over the place where Jesus was. And when they had made an opening, they lowered the stretcher on which the paralytic lay. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralytic, My child, your sins are forgiven. Now some scribes were sitting there, And they thought to themselves, how can this man talk like that? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God? Jesus, inwardly aware that this was what they were thinking, said to them, Why do you have these thoughts in your heart? Which of these is easier, to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up, pick up your stretcher and walk, but to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins? He turned to the paralytic. I order you, get up, pick up your stretcher and go home. And the man got up, picked up his stretcher at once and walked out in front of everyone. So that they were all astounded and praised God saying, we have never seen anything like this. Gospel of the Lord.